Hello friends, this video on sound part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Lot of sounds. While we are talking, we are singing, shouting. So in all these cases, we are also producing a lot of sound. Now the question is, how are we producing sound? Because we, whatever we have understood so far is, sounds are produced by vibration. So does that mean that something is vibrating even inside our body which is producing sound? Yes, of course, that has to be true in our case as well. So now the question is, what is vibrating inside our body? So let us quickly see how exactly sound produced in human beings. So in human beings, we have a specialized structure called the larynx, which is responsible for the production of sound. And that is why larynx is also known as the voice box. So larynx is called the voice box because it is responsible for producing sound. And where is larynx located? It is located inside our throat. So this portion, so if you look at, especially in case of males, adult males, if you look at the portion of the throat, you can see a protruded part of their throat. So that protruded part is nothing but larynx. So larynx is located in that part because uh, in case of males especially, the larynx get enlarged as they uh, enter into their mature ages. So that is why the larynx becomes visible from outside. But in case of females, larynx is not that clearly visible from outside. So this is where the larynx is located. So now we will try to understand what exactly the larynx does that help in production of sound. So larynx is called the voice box as I said. Where is it located? It is located at the upper end of the trachea. What is trachea? Trachea is nothing but the windpipe. So what is that? Now whenever we breathe in, how do we breathe in? We breathe in through our nostrils. So air enters into our nostrils, it enters into the nasal cavity and finally where does it go? It goes through the windpipe and it reaches the lungs. So here you can see these are the two lungs. So there is a pipe which carries the air which we have breathed in from our nostrils to the lungs. So this tube is called the windpipe or trachea. So here you can see this structure which you see here that is trachea. It is a tube like structure which connects to the lungs. Now, from where the trachea starts, this is where the trachea starts and towards the upper end of the trachea is present the larynx. So, this structure which you see here, this one, yes. So, this structure is larynx. So, it is just located at the upper end of the trachea or you can say that the superior trachea or the upper end of the trachea specializes to form this voice box. Okay. So the location is clear. Now the question is, what is that special thing which is present inside this voice box that help in vibration or production of sound? So this is how the structure of the larynx looks like if you look, at, look through the throat from the top view. So if you look down from the throat of a person, you ask a person to open his or her mouth and then you try to look deep inside through his throat. So this is how it will look like. So here you will be able to see two cord like structures present which are called the vocal cords. So here you see two cord like structures. These are called the vocal cords and these vocal cords actually are the vibrating part of the human body. So due to the vibration of these vocal cords, we are able to produce sound. Now what happens to this vocal cords? Now these vocal cords, they are located in such a way, I mean here you have muscles which I mean, which fix them from behind. So now, due to the contraction and expansion of the muscles, these uh, vocal cords, they can open and create some space in between them. Like here you can see, there is an opening between the two vocal cords. Similarly, they can come closer and the opening can be closed. Now, when there is opening, what will happen? This opening will allow the air to flow in or out of the lungs. As I said, air will go through the nostrils, nasal cavity and finally the air wants to reach the lungs through the trachea. So here, all that you see here, this portion shows you trachea. 
it actually goes to trachea it is like a door now when the vocal cords come close together like in this case there is no opening so in this case the air cannot pass through freely into the lungs or it cannot come out of the lungs because the door is closed here but in this case it is open so when the vocal cords are open and when are they open they are open during normal breathing because when we are breathing normally that time what do we want we want the air to reach the lungs so now this is the scenario in case of breathing as i said so during breathing they remain the vocal cords they open up the space in between them now when this space is open in that case what will happen when we breathe the air is allowed to flow in through this opening into the lungs as well as out of the lungs like when we breathe in or breathe out so that air exchange has to happen so this provides the path for the air to flow into the lungs as well as for the air to come out of the lungs so this picture the first scenario is the case which happens during normal breathing so during breathing this is how the alignment of the vocal cords will be now what happens during talking now during breathing the sound produced is very uh, feeble you do not hear the breathing sound that properly but what happens during talking so when you talk you are actually producing a considerable amount of sound so during this case what happens is they remain closed so when i say close i mean the vocal cords they are like very close to each other so you do not have that space here to allow air to pass into the lungs so what will happen in this case in this case the vibration of the air can be felt from outside during talking like when you are talking just try to touch your larynx from outside just try to touch this part of your throat when you are talking and you will be able to feel the vibration with your fingers because in during this case when they close a pressure develops in the lungs because now the air is not able to come out or it is not able to come in freely so a pressure develops in the lungs which initiate the vibration of air flow between the vocal folds so here the vibration of air takes place like how in case of a flute there is vibration of air column taking place inside the tube in a very similar way here also due to the closure of the vocal cords there is a pressure which develops from the lungs and as a result when the air tries to come to the larynx it reaches that surface and it sees that the gates are closed so what will happen like it is something like this let us say you go to a movie theater and uh, there is a rush of say 500 people who wants to enter inside the theater now suddenly the door gets closed so what will happen everybody is trying to move inside the hall and suddenly the door got closed so the pressure will develop in a very similar way here also pressure develops and as a result vibration of air starts and due to this vibration of air sound is produced so this is how the process of sound production takes place in case of human beings so which part of our body is responsible for voice production it is larynx and what part inside the larynx is responsible for the vibration it is the vocal cords because due to the alignment of the vocal cords only the air vibration gets initiated so with this uh, we have discussed the various way i mean the cause of sound production how sound is produced in various musical instruments in case of human beings in case of all other sounds which we see around us so the production of sound part is clear now thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.